Hey everybody, welcome back to Fat Guy Golf. I'm John Baker, the Fat Guy Golfer. This video is gonna be the back nine at Brookledge Golf Course. Posted a video, I shot a 52 with 12 putts somehow. Yeah, need a 47 to break 100. Uh, as far as weight loss and everything like that, the video that you're about to see, I filmed on October 22nd. I, at that point, I was down about 45 pounds. Right now, November 29th, I'm down roughly 62, 63 pounds. So we're doing good, we're, progress is going good. Uh, we're lifting more, so we're getting a lot stronger. For future reference, this will be my last golf video of this season, I imagine. Instagram, always fun. Instagram, simple. The Fat Guy Golf on Instagram. Uh, go to the website, www.thefatguygolf. Also, at the end of this video, go ahead and comment and like and subscribe. But make sure you comment, because my next videos are gonna be probably questions from you guys that have to do with me personally, me golf, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna answer a lot of that stuff. I'm gonna try to give you guys as much content in the off season as I, as I can, reacting to your questions, things you wanna know. Um, and realistically, I'm gonna try to make this channel a lot more personal about me. I'm gonna talk about my struggles with weight, um, my struggles with weight loss, my struggles with work. I might even talk about a couple girls. I don't know, we're gonna have some fun though, but I'm gonna talk about a lot more stuff that has to do a lot more personally with me during the off season. So again, Logo over there, that's personal stuff. If you don't wanna watch that, turn it off. I'm not gonna ask you to watch it, all right? Yeah, Brookledge, let's see how I play. Oh yeah, right into it. So, I don't know if you guys remember on number eight on the last round, Sean actually fixed my drive, so now I'm getting a lot more power. I'm like throwing my right shoulder into it here. So that one went 219 yards, usually I'm around 205, 210. And uh, Sean gave me a really quick fix. So we're 16 over to start, uh, drives in the middle, then we hit a three wood up. I think we hit like 190. So now we got a pitch shot to the green. Um, so everything's going good. We're, we're starting off. This is a nice round to begin. Bad contact. Left it a little short. I'm pretty mad instantly. <laughs> so now we got a bump and run chip up. And it just, you know, for this being October 22nd, this thing just released through the green. All right, nice little putt down the hill. It's going to break left to right. More? Oh, my God. Mm. Not high enough. All right, come back. I think this is for bogey. There, there we go. All right, next hole, 331 yard par four. Bends to the left. This is actually a really good drive. I drive it through the fairway. I know the line's not going to be accurate, but I actually drive it through the fairway. So we're in a little bit of rough, but it's a nice lie. My approach here, I think, was about 125. And we leave it a little bit to the right, and I got this weird pitch shot. Like, there was a bunker right there, straight downhill. I couldn't stand properly at all. There was no chance to stand properly. Um, I wish Sean would have turned me around that a little bit. I didn't realize I was aiming that far to the left, but it is what it is. All right, super quick putt. I don't know if you guys can see the ledge going through the middle of the green. And then here it comes. As I beg it to stop. There we go. All right, I think I'm going to make this for bogey, too. Nice putt. Nice. All right, putter's all right. That's two good putts to, for bogey. Now, short par four, really tight. Sean hit his into the woods. I immediately smacked mine into the woods. <laughs> the good thing is the guys see it come out, though. So, and I got a little help. The bad news is I had the wrong club, and we had, it was car path only, and the car path was 60 yards over to the right. So I had the wrong club, and I, I didn't care. I wasn't walking back. It was 40 degrees. It was windy. I was not in the mood. Uh, this shot up the hill, I didn't realize I didn't have... I had a lot more green to work with. So now we got to put this tight. Let's see. Uphill. Go in. There we go. All right. It's happened. So we started 16 over. We're now 3 over through, what, 3 holes? Yeah. So 133 yards. I don't know what happened. We shot it, I think, farther. I think we shot it 145. But I was way over. So this is actually behind the green. Like, I'm 20 yards behind. So I hit a hybrid, 145, 150. I, was, I don't know what I was doing. And then, as you can see, the anger ensues. All right, now we got to putt. we got to get this close. Because we got to save bogey. Not reading the break really well, am I? Hmm. All right, got to make another five-footer. Come on. 
Atta boy. <laughs> nice thing is I don't remember any of this because it was a month over a month ago. So, <laughs> here we go. Oh, another good drive. Yeah, I remember this one. It's uh, downhill. I had the wind behind me. And uh, so I gave it a good poke. And, you know, this throw on my right, th my, my right shoulder, throwing it down through the ball. Um, and then throwing my finish down and, like, making sure I finish my swing. Because, as you guys can see, I don't finish my swings. Uh, this one actually kicks off the tree a little bit, so I don't have a bad chip. Yeah, so it's not a bad pitch shot. Except I hit it poorly. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, golf. Another putt and another terrible read. Uh, all right, got to gotta make another one. Well, I almost started that too far right. That would have been bad. All right, 150 yards. I'm probably hitting my four hybrid. There we go. Middle of the green. A little bit long, but uh, middle of the green. Now we got a long putt. This is right to left, I believe. Yeah. Come on. Go in. Uh, one time. All right. Sean moves to the other side, and we got this putt for par. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, so mad. All right. So another drive. I don't know where I was aiming, why I was lined up on the tree line. Maybe I thought I was going to hit a draw and pull back over because I had so much room to the left. But that's a penalty. Couldn't find it. Dropped over there. Uh, I think I dropped like 200 out, so I'm just hitting a three-wood up. Almost hit the white stake in the middle of the fairway. I missed it by maybe an inch. And... uh it rolls up, so now I got like 130 yards in. I'm hitting uh, six iron or seven iron, probably seven iron. And I thought I hit it great, but uh, I was really short. I was what, 10 yards short, 15 yards short. Now this putt, I don't know if you can see the ridge along the green, but it goes straight uphill and dies, and now it falls to the left. And hello, goodbye. And it rolls all the way back down. So now I have this putt up this putt putt green. Ugh. Go in. Come on. One time. Get up there. Nope. Alright. Three putt. Because of this stupid green. Alright. And my bad putting ability. Alright. Number 17. We're 24 over. We started 16. What we start? 16 over? So we're 8 over through 7. And then I top my shot. My 194 yard shot. I hit a 3 wood. I topped it. And then I have this for the approach. It's not bad. Everything's a little bit to the right, I'm noticing. So I'm leaving my irons out a little bit to the right, a little bit short. Maybe because I'm not finishing my swing. Maybe I'm leaving the club club head open a little bit. So I got to work on that. There we go. Close, but no cigar. All right. As we kiss Sean's ball. Put for a bogey, right? Yeah, so this would get me to eight, nine, nine over on the round. There you go. Watch out, Sean. <laughs> All right, last hole. It is like 4, I think it's like 4.45, and it's almost dark. And I block my drive. Really bad shot. So the second shot is really tough. I'm going to have to go over trees. I have water in front of the green. And I don't hit my irons far enough, so I have to hit a wood over these trees, carry the, and it's, yeah. That happened. So now this is a really tough shot. I don't have enough distance here with my iron, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try my and I just oh John, 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 what are you doing? So now I say screw it. I'm grabbing a hybrid, I'm gonna punch it out and hope it somewhere stops near the green. And it gets it gets under the tree, it gets over the green. So now we have a long pitch shot for to get on. And it's it's a mess. Like this green. You can't really see the slope here, but if you, you can kind of see the shadow where the ball is on the right, it comes straight downhill. So I thought when I hit this, as my playing partner Dan says, really good, we thought it would roll down to the right, and I just left it a little bit too far to the left, and I missed the slope I wanted. Tough putt here. Downhill right to left. Oh, that's a good line. Oh. Ah. Didn't make one long one. All right, got to make this. There we go. 
All right. Thank you. All right, guys. There it is. The back nine at Brookledge. Uh, what was I? 26, 27 over par? Maybe? About two weeks ago, I played in a tournament on a golf simulator. It was me and 12 guys. We're all about 15, 20, 25 handicaps. Um, they all shot in the 90s. Big dog right here shot a 75. Won by eight strokes. I'll post a couple pictures right here of me holding my trophy and my team winning. Yeah, I carried my team. The guy next to me, he's like a four and a half handicap, and I beat him by 10 strokes. So, you know, it's funny. If we take all the walking and all the standing and all the exercise out of golf, which there is very little, I play really well. Um, <laughs> it's funny to think how motivated I was because we had to put money in to play. So not playing golf in a while, the extra motivation to win a lot of money playing. And, you know, I talked a lot of crap because I'm a YouTube golfer, so I better show up. Uh, the extra focus, the extra motivation, plus the tees we played were only like 50, 600 yards. So with my low hitting ability, 200 in the fairway, 150 in, makes it a lot easier. Uh, like you guys saw in Brookledge, we started with 6,500 yards. So it's just like a different game. When I can play from 5,600 to 6,500, and I can hit a seven iron in instead of a three wood, it's just a different game. Um, and if that makes you think, well, the simulator must have sucked, I played a simulator the next day at 6,200 yards at Muirfield, and I shot a 90. So I still suck, but if I play ladies tees, I'm pretty good. So with that being said, Instagram, the fat guy golf, the website, www.thefatguygolf.com, buy a ball marker. Uh, like I said before, logo over there means it's a personal video. Logo over there means it's a golf video. Uh, yeah, I miss you guys. I'm sorry I don't live in warm weather city where I can play golf all year and just blow this channel out of the water. It's Ohio. I gotta do what I gotta do. All right, see you soon.